Hey, what's up guys? Coach Austin here with Coach Emily and today we're going to talk about the barbell RDL or the dumbbell RDL. Uh, Emily has a barbell here but the concepts and the way we're thinking about these, these techniques are going to be very similar in the way they carry over from either barbell or dumbbell. So have, just have that in mind, consider that um, when you're listening. So depending on which variation you're using, they kind of translate really well to both. Okay, so as Emily starts in kind of this top position, this starting position, a big thing that we're going to start with is actually Emily's chin being tucked, but it doesn't have to be completely neck flexion, but it needs to be stable and tucked. Um, that's in position to actually keep the spine in a neutral position. So if you can see people uh, look up as they're going down, that's a very common thing is as you go down to look up and what that's going to do uh, is actually, I'll do it because Emily has the bar. So as we look up, it's actually gonna start to hyperextend my lower back and put a lot of that tension more on my spine and lower back instead of my hamstrings and glutes, which is the objective of the exercise. So we wanna have this, the chin tucked, keeping a neutral gaze, kind of a downward neutral gaze, kind of pick a spot that you like or pick a focus point and just kind of keep your eyes locked on that for balance and just that neutral gaze. So once our chin is in, our head's in a good position, nice neutral spine, Emily's gonna be thinking about, as she starts to go down, she's gonna think about actually stabilizing her upper back here. Okay, and as she allows that bar just to kind of naturally travel. And so N Emily naturally wanted to, it's very common to naturally want to press this bar into your legs, okay? But we're just gonna allow this bar to naturally hang as it would, okay? So as it naturally hangs, she's nice and contracted and stable in this upper back, okay? And as she comes back up, she's actually gonna think about driving those hamstrings down through her heels and back up to that hip extension point. So as we go back down here, thinking about driving these hips back, okay? And as, you, as soon as you hit full hip flexion here, okay, any more range of motion, and it would have to come from Emily's spine, okay? So this isn't a destination exercise. This is an exercise that we have to use, and we're at mercy of the range of motion. You can go ahead and come to the top. We're at the mercy of the range of motion of our hamstrings that day. So, so if your hamstrings are super tight, you may not get as much range of motion. Okay, so as we're coming back here, coming to the top, starting position, nice tight upper back, nice and stable. And the first thing, first thing Emily's thinking about is actually driving those hips back. She's thinking about keeping those abs nice and compressed. As soon as she hits that range of motion, she's going to actually think about driving down that hamstring through those heels all the way back up to the top. If we want to make this a little bit more, add a little bit of glutes at the very bottom, you can actually think about, so if Emily comes all the way down again at the hip, think about contracting slightly at the glutes first and then driving through your heels again. Okay, so good, the good integration between that hamstring and glute in this exercise.